Hey guys, it's Sans again for this week. So, this video is gonna be 11 thrifting tips that I learned, but that's not gonna be the title thing that I'm gonna put, so. Let's get into it. So, for number one, bring a mask, Lamau. Um, okay, so pre COVID era and hopefully post, people won't be wearing masks anymore so bring your own mask because the dust is gonna go in your face and up your nose and when you take a shower later it's gonna be all gross and black stuff coming out of your nose especially if you're thrifting in the Philippines and also bring a small bag to safely keep your money maybe like a fanny pack or something just keep it close to you and if you're with someone which will be something I'll mention later if you're with someone they can help you watch it also if you're like if it's big but try not to <laughs> okay so number two wear clothing that is comfortable and not fancy but still snug enough for you to be able to slip in and out of it when you fit the clothes so think like maybe cycling shorts and like some loose-ish top or something like that which brings us to the next one, number three. Fit the clothes you get while you're there, please. You will save more time and effort and money when you do because oftentimes a piece looks good on a rack but bad on your back. Trademark. But yeah, no seriously, like sometimes it could go, it, it could look really good on the hanger. Like, you know, this looks really good and then you realize that the structure looks weird or you're, there's a hole or there's a weird stain in an awkward place or overall if you just really need to see if it suits you or not so that's really important for you know when you're gonna purchase something I mean obviously it's good that it's cheap but still you want to get you know as much of your money's worth as you can <laughs> number four if possible always bring a friend I've heard this a lot in other videos and it's so true. You work twice as fast when you're, you know, two or more, the more the merrier. And they can help you not overspend because so many times I wanted like this top, like a top or something and then like, should I get it? I'm gonna go over budget and they're like, Do you want it or do you need it? And I was like, okay. And I just like sadly return it. To its original place but yeah that's gonna help you a lot also the great thing about it is that you're gonna be able to find like pieces that you think will interest the other person and you can help each other out like hey this reminded me of you hey you could, don't you want to buy something like this for so and so so that's gonna be great number five bring your own bag if you can estimate how much you're going to buy because save the environment uh, it's just really good. I mean, most thrift stores are gonna give you like a plastic bag or something or some of them will sell their own echo bags. But still, you know, you want to at least make an effort if you can. Number six, have a specific budget. If it's strict, then stick to it, please. I know how it feels. And if it's not, then enjoy. But still, think about your purchases. How many times will you be able to use it? Can you DIY it? Is it worth the price? Do you really need to buy it? Or are you just buying it for the sake of buying it? Because there are a lot of times when I go to a thrift store and I'm like, yeah, you know, it's sale season. I'm gonna get some really cool pieces. And then I look through like the whole place and I have like no luck. And sometimes there's just this, this top or this bottom or something that I don't really like and I'm like you know yeah I'll just get it and honestly I don't really regret it because they're kind of, they're pretty cheap but still you know like just try to avoid that as much as you can seven know beforehand what kind of clothing you want before you go yes it's fun to just explore if you have a time it but having a specific look in mind will narrow down your choices as opposed to just wandering aimlessly. So, 
if you are looking for a specific kind of jacket, a specific kind of top, let's say you want to look for a roughly top or something like that, or like corduroy pants or something, then there you go. When you go there and don't see anything, then at least you'll be able to keep your options open when you're already there instead of just like going there. I mean, obviously sometimes it's fun to just go somewhere and just be like, oh, I like this, I like this, and that's fun. But what's not fun is just staying there for like more than like an hour and just being like, you know, I don't know, I don't really want it. And then it's, it's such a waste of time. And like, you know, time is money. Okay, uh, anyways, number eight. If you see something that you like, take it right away because it could be gone the next second. And remember, don't get your hopes up too high when you fit the clothes because from personal experience, you have you could have about 11 in your basket or cart or whatever and end up leaving with only like five pieces because they're the ones that fitted you well or didn't look awkward and something because sometimes it's not even about your size it's just it's, maybe it looks weird it looks wrong to you like it's unflattering in some parts or something like that before i go to number nine i went to this I went to Makati Cinema Square once with my friend Hans and I saw this really cute shirt that was like some knockoff version of like Wendy's with like some other thing. I forgot what it said. But it was cute. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna get that later. I was like, because I, I hung it on the freaking rack at the side. And then when I came back, when I looked away for like a second, it was gone. So I spent like. 15 more minutes trying to look for it Someone took it so don't be like me. Okay, number nine Keep in touch with the store if you can some thrift stores send out group texts when they go on sale I personally don't enjoy going if there's no sale because the thrift prices have you know increased ever since the thrifting could stores have been gentrified <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know if like this is a common thing or like maybe like the thrift store I go to is just you know kind of bougie I guess for a thrift store. So yeah, like it, there it's really helpful instead of just going there and it's like new arrivals and everything is like a hundred pesos and above or like two hundred and above for like a normal looking shirt and it's like why am I even here? Like, so like, so you won't waste your time when playing with my headband. Yeah. Number 11. Please. 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 Wash the clothes thoroughly and as much as possible right away before wearing them or DIYing them. Like, obviously when you're fitting them in the store, you can't wash them. But yeah, make sure you wash them as soon as possible. and. Please take a shower when you come home, like immediately. I'm gonna have to explain it to you if you if you don't already know these things, but you might get allergies, we have no idea where it's been, you might like get some rashes or something, there might be some weird like, you know bacteria in it or something like that. Especially if you're wearing like bottoms and like, it's gonna and, like the crotch area it's just gonna be gross so wash your clothes and take a shower hello go away sorry my sister's bothering me sorry about that trust me especially if you didn't wear a mask pre-covid and maybe post your face will break out and have rashes because of all the dust. Not a very pleasant sensation. So yeah, take a shower. Mm, back. <sighs> Wash your clothes. And of course, know that thrifting is not the easiest thing in the world. Don't get too frustrated when you don't find anything. It happens more often than you think. So just be safe, have fun, and 
keep it clean. Yay, a video that isn't extremely long. But, you know, yeah, that's the fun part of the video. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the serious stuff. So if you don't want to hear this, you should, you, you may, you may leave. Yeah. Like and subscribe though, please. Okay, so you may notice that I'm wearing this. It's not just a fashion statement. By any means, I seriously support the Black Lives Matter movement. And to talk about political things, and I'd, I'd, I want as much as possible to th for, for this to be a channel where, you know, I'm just chill and like talking about whatever, but it's hard for me to be like that because it's just not in my nature to ignore things that are significant and extremely important to talk about. So if you have the privilege to ignore causes that don't benefit you whatsoever, then congratulations. That doesn't make you like a, per a good person just because like you're like oh, okay that doesn't benefit me bye like oh how do you s how do you sleep like oh, I'm, I'm not even gonna turn it into a thing where i'm better than you because i am socially aware it's not like that at all if you're a decent human being and you actually gave a shit about these kinds of things and you would know that staying silent and not even the kind of silent where you're aware and stuff. The kind of silent where you know you're not affected at all. And you're like, I don't care. That's just stupid. Okay, I'm not even like super articulate about this because I'm filled with rage. And to make it, you know, the local version of this rage. <sighs> Ooh. Hashtag junk terror bill now. Hashtag free pride. 20 <sighs> I'm so mad recently there were 20 people who were arrested when there was a pride march going on they weren't doing anything wrong they were wearing masks social distancing and everything they were arrested and <sighs> I'm just so mad, and I'm just gonna show you a video after this, okay? And again, I, I stand my ground with so many other people who know that the terror bill is absolute garbage. And let me just tell you that a lot of people, young and old and everything in between, will probably be like, Nah, you know, protesting, being vocal about it, being political, being aware, doesn't do anything. It doesn't serve me. Why would I do that? Well, hello? Where? You are living in a sheltered fantasy, my dude. And it's just, I can't, I can't even, like, begin to express the, the outrage that I'm feeling, that I'm pretty sure s millions of other people are feeling right now too. So get vocal, be aware, spread awareness, know that governments in a lot of places right now are complete I can't even find a word for the people I'm trying to describe because it's so exhausting having to deal with this and especially the people who have no choice who literally have to face this every single day like I acknowledge that as a, as as myself I have I could I could just shut up I could just have the privilege to you know be like eh, okay that doesn't affect me in any way whatsoever, so I'm just gonna- Honestly, it makes me so mad. And... Times like this, especially because we're in the midst of a freaking pandemic... We should stand together. Okay? 
I know it sounds cheesy or whatever, but we should stand in solidarity with people who are oppressed. How long is it gonna take for people to absorb and to realize that there is a huge problem and right now people are pissed. This is years and years of oppression. <laughs> like, people are mad. So to everyone saying protests don't work and it's not gonna work, let's see. <laughs> Cause you know, it's not like we have hundreds upon hundreds of history books filled with revolutions that actually made a difference. And speaking of pride, cough, cough, Stonewall, especially because those riots were led by POC, that makes it all the more reason for you to be pissed about this too, especially if, yeah, you know, anyways, I'm gonna show the video. And then, yeah, so you just watch the video. I am horrified, not surprised, brought to tears when I first saw it. So yeah, that's it. Yo, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I might take a break after this week, maybe for like a week, because I just need to recharge, because it is Mercury retrograde and I feel extremely drained. So yeah, I'm still waiting for my selenite and fluorite crystals to arrive. So until then, I won't be having any extra help with the energy being drained, physically drained from me. So yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below if you have any thrift tips that you would like to share, any thrifting stories or any pieces and stuff. Yes, I call articles of clothing pieces. Yeah. Check out the links in the description if you want to follow me on Instagram, listen to my songs, stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Don't let people silence you. I'll see you next week.